common ground. All right, well, let's talk about some issues then and and maybe try to find some of that common ground. Teresa Tomlinson running for Senate here. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about a couple of these issues. Uh, A a Democratic presidential candidate just a few days ago acknowledging, acknowledging that he wants to come take my guns away. Uh, Where are you on that issue? Yeah, yeah. You know, I, first of all, I, I don't know Beto O'Rourke, obviously, but I can only imagine the trauma that they've experienced with the murders there. Um, you know, that's a pretty stunning and emotional circumstance. And so uh, I do not, however, believe that confiscation is possible or lawful. And that's my lawyer background um, uh, talking there. So mandatory buybacks, while I completely understand the people that are urging them because they want an immediate resolution to what is an out-of-control situation. But what, as I was public safety director in addition to being uh, mayor, so the uh, police chief, fire chief, and so forth reported direct to me, and, and I understand the role of law enforcement. We're not making their job any easier, uh, putting these weapons of war on the street. And so the better way to do it, frankly, is to have an assault weapons ban, a prospective assault weapons ban. Well, we uh, do have an assault weapons ban, don't we? I can't have a fully automatic. I mean, I suppose we need to define what we mean when we say assault weapons. But but there are definitions. You know there's definitions related to how how quickly they load the chamber and so forth. So there there are definitions related to that, and and you can Google them and look them up. But, but, um, but, but yes, talking about semi-automatic assault rifles. And so... The thing is, too, the ones that are killing the people on our streets right now, when you hear horrifically that somebody's walked into a mall or or some public place and shot 26 people in in less than 60 seconds, then you know that was a semi-automatic assault rifle. Uh, And those are the ones people want to get off the streets and have a high, uh, you know, high support among the American people to do so. But you also have to then limit the transfer of those weapons, even privately. When you do that, then you can go in with effective public-private partnerships for buy buyback. Uh, you can't do a buyback right now. I could set up a table. We've done them before in Columbus, and said, "Hey, you know, bring your weapon. Uh, we'll pay you for them." Well, all they're going to bring you are the broken weapons, the ones they don't want want to use because they're getting them from other places, any anywhere they want them. And then go buy a know, better weapon. Re- right. Right, exactly. And so and so you've got to decide what it is you want to limit and why, and then go effectively go after it. And I propose a semi-automatic assault weapon ban prospectively, uh, limiting the transfers of them uh, when, for those who currently own them. And then, of course, you're going to have a market for the buyback because we're not going to be able to sell it on the, on the black market, uh, which we really have to work with in this country, and they're not going to be able – uh, to sell it privately, so then then you can buy them back. And there's all sorts of um, foundations and nonprofit organizations that would love to invest in buyback programs. All right, we'll leave aside for a moment that the government didn't buy it from or sell it to me in the first place, so the government ought not be buying it back. <laughs> we'll leave aside yeah. that that bit of uh, that that bit. Let's move on to something else here really quickly. Uh, Teresa Tomlinson, Senate.